Well, hello. Today is going to be a different sort of video because I am very behind on editing and I've been getting a lot of questions about my gear, which is difficult to address in my day-to-day -day videos. So I'm going to do a quick gear update on how some pieces of gear are working out for me. So the item I get the most questions about is my pack cover. Um, which I keep here in the brain of my backpack at all times. And what that does is it goes over the whole pack and then there's a hood and a little cape that attaches to you to protect rain from getting down into your straps. And it has been working out great. Um, I will say last couple days have been very rainy. This fabric, it's the EPX sailcloth and it's supposed to be waterproof, but it's not. So water, I've never seen water leak in so fast on any backpack before this. So I think it's like negative waterproof or something. <laughs> it's a water magnet somehow, but um, water does still get in eventually. Um, but the pack cover has slowed it down quite considerably. Um, I did a video, I think it was like day six or so when I got into Unicoi Gap where you could see like all of my stuff was soaked. Um, that didn't happen this time and partly it's um, thanks to a compactor bag that I have now in my pack as a pack liner. Um, it's basically just a large, very durable trash bag that my quilt goes into and generally my hammock goes into as well. I would say um, there was like a, a couple parts where it was like, oh, this feels a little damp, but it was dry enough to sleep in last night. So huge, that whole system, pack cover and compactor bag working out good. I've had concerns from people about me sending home my umbrella and my camp shoes. I have had no regrets about those. The umbrella, as I've said before, it's been, it was getting caught on the trees. Um, it was funneling the water. Um, so I had it like kind of partially, it was partially over my pack and partially not. So it was funneling water right onto the pack and it was getting things wet even faster than if I hadn't had the umbrella at all. So I no regret about sending the umbrella home. Um, camp shoes, the only time when like I might have sort of wanted them was last night. Last night got, uh, it was raining, it was windy, and it was freezing. And the, the flip flops weren't really cutting it last night. So I did, if you haven't seen, I did get flip flops sent to me at Fontana Dam. Um, I've used them a couple times, mostly like getting out of my hammock at night to use the bathroom. Um, last night, they were not warm enough. Last night was probably the coldest night we've had in a long time. Uh, so what I ended up doing instead, I brought these bread bags <laughs> from home. And I've just been carrying in here. They don't, they don't really weigh anything. Um, so what I did was I put my dry socks on. And then I put a bread bag on each foot. And then I put them inside my trail runners um, that were wet. And what it did was it prevented the wet trail runner from soaking into my dry socks. So it kept my feet warm while also keeping my dry socks dry. And that worked out really well for when it was cold. So, I wasn't really sure if I was gonna use these. Glad I had them for last night. I would love to get my pack weight down more, but it's fine now. It's like, you know, I'm typically carrying about 25 pounds and as I eat the food, it becomes less than that. And I'm happy with that right now. And as the weather warms up, my pack will get lighter and that's just bonus. The only thing I would consider for next time is getting a different fabric backpack. Even just like the Robic Nylon, I think would have been more waterproof than this. And I'm disappointed because I actually paid extra for this specifically because I thought it would be waterproof and it is not. I actually think my Mariposa with the 
aerobic nylon was more waterproof than this. It's heavier than the other fabric and it seems to be even less waterproof than the regular fabric. So huge bummer on that. But this is what I have for right now. I might replace it sometime down the line, but I'm just going to deal with it and use the pack cover, like I said. I also have gotten questions about my hammock setup. So I will do another video sometime where I talk about that specifically because um, you usually like I get to camp and I'm just like I have I get to camp late and I have all the stuff I need to do. So I don't want to do another video of me setting up my hammock for the umpteenth time. So I'll just I'll do that separate and if anyone has questions along the way I will try and answer them the best I can when I can. Thank you for watching and back to our normally scheduled program tomorrow.